All right, Phonics, I got something in store for you today. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and you guys will get post notifications about what's coming up next. Uh, something that I've been kind of going through over the last couple of uh, weeks here, over the last week, should I say, is uh, kind of going back and forth between Diamond Coat. Diamond Coat uh, rust control modules. And uh, if you guys saw my video yesterday, then uh, you'd see that Crown actually kind of stepped up to the plate and sent me some pretty cool stuff there. So thank you again, Crown. Obtained a Diamond Coat rust control module from an undisclosed location. And uh, this uh, module actually came out of a vehicle that was uh, very rusted. And uh, obviously the module had not been doing its job to protect the vehicle. Something that I wanna, again, clarify. There's a lot of clarification going on here since Diamond Coat has been commenting on my videos. And clarifying what they're doing, I want to clarify exactly what I'm doing. So the idea of purchasing a warranty on your vehicle, and especially if it's a new vehicle and the dealership is offering you a diamond coat warranty to protect your vehicle from rust or corrosion, the idea is to actually protect your vehicle from rust and corrosion. In my mind, if I buy a new vehicle and I'm planning on keeping that car for any length of time, I'd like to actually have the peace of mind that not only am I getting rust and corrosion protection, but I'm actually being protected from the vehicle rusting and corroding to begin with. Uh, the idea of the warranty and the module is to prevent the vehicle from rusting and corroding. Therefore, there really shouldn't be any warranty concerns to be had in theory. Uh, the idea of installing a rust control module on your vehicle should be in fact that it is protecting the car from in fact rusting and or corroding. So it's important to keep that in mind and clarify in your head exactly what the purpose of the module is and why exactly you're purchasing it to get installed on your vehicle. I want to keep in mind as well that nine times out of ten the mechanic that is installing this onto your vehicle is not a 310k certified electronic installer in Ontario you have to be in any other province you don't have to be so it doesn't really necessarily mean that they don't you know they don't know what they're doing but in my experience mechanics do not know as much as a 310k certified accessory technician would when it comes to installing your aftermarket 12 volt accessory such as a rust control module under your hood and nine times out of ten the installation is horrendous horrendous to the point where even the person that doesn't know what they're looking at will look at that and say wow what is that underneath of my hood and what is it doing so today i'm going to answer that question for you and uh we have got the cover off of this thing because we want to know exactly what it's doing and how it's doing it and uh what exactly is involved there all right so the first thing i see here aside from the corrosion on the circuit board is the cover for the diamond coat module itself is actually uh, non-gasketed so it's a plastic cover with no rubber gasket uh, it looks like it's just a plastic cover with a uh, with a little sticker on top of it here to kind of indicate exactly what those little LEDs are doing. There's a battery low, a fault, and an inspection LED, and then an on LED. And in the orientation that they've uh, got that there, this would be the on LED. Uh, this would be the battery low LED, and this one here would be the fault LED and this one here is for the inspection LED so uh, I'm not sure exactly what those uh, are supposed to do in regards to protecting your vehicle but uh, if there's a fault or an inspection then uh, let's have a look at exactly what uh, is inside this by inspecting it so uh, one of the first things I'm seeing here is a couple of capacitors uh, right here uh, here and here have obviously a, uh, excreted their internals all over the uh, circuit board uh, of this. Um, quite interesting, it looks like you got here, just gonna use that screwdriver, it looks like we have a uh, swollen uh, resistor pack here as well on the circuit board. The circuit board is encased in epoxy on the bottom. Uh, however, it looks like they forgot to entirely epoxy coat the top portion of the circuit board. It looks like they tried. It looks like they tried to actually uh, apply a epoxy coating to the top of the circuit board, which probably would have protected any of this sort of thing from happening. But uh, it looks like they fell a little short on the amount of epoxy they actually applied to the circuit board there. 
it's half dribbled on there. So, uh, I mean, these uh, resistors are, are looking to do their job. It looks like the epoxy coating is actually keeping that resistor from exploding uh, in this case here. So uh, let's plug this sucker in and uh, let's give it uh, a little test to root. I'll get my uh, multimeter on it as well and see what kind of DC AC outputs it's putting out. Maybe any uh, ohm resistance or uh, let's just figure out exactly what it's doing here. So first thing we'll check for is our, our ohms as well and our DC and AC outputs of the uh, module here. So is it doing anything? All right, so it looks like a, we have a red light, which on the cover indicates an inspection. Um, I, I don't think it means inspecting the vehicle. Uh, I mean, maybe it is saying inspect the vehicle. It's not showing it's on though. Yeah, so well, we it's, it's it not on? on because it, it needs an inspection. The module needs an inspection and clearly it's not doing its job here because okay. the uh, the capacitors and such have excreted themselves. But all over. couldn't it be on with inspection required? Uh, it very well could be, so let's test the outputs uh, on there with our multimeter. So the leads are right there, and we'll go ahead and plug this sucker in and see exactly what it's doing. Are we getting any uh, continuity between that? Uh, no, we, we are not. Are we getting any DC outputs? No, we, we are certainly not there. And uh, how about our AC current outputs? No. So the module is in fact doing absolutely nothing underneath of the hood there, and it clearly didn't do its job to begin with. So I think we've had enough of inspecting this thing. I'm not sure about uh, you there, Craig, but I feel as though uh, yeah. we have done a very thorough inspection as the red LED light indicates for us to do so. And my inspection concludes that Diamond Coats modules actually don't do a damn thing to your vehicle to protect them. I want you guys to go to your local body shop and ask them what they think about these rust control modules. Keep in mind what I said at the beginning of this video. It's important to remember that the idea of purchasing this warranty is to actually protect your vehicle from rusting. If I'm planning on keeping a vehicle for any length of time, I don't want it to rust. I don't want the idea of my car rusting because if you guys know anything about rusted cars, that's a, that's a cancer, it doesn't go away. You can hide it, you can do a little bit of body work, you can make it look good by putting you know, lipstick on a pig, but it's never really gonna go away. And uh, I think that's important to remember. So the idea of uh, installing a module to prevent uh, corrosion or rust on your car, in my mind, should actually prevent it from doing that. And uh, in this case, it's not doing that at all. So uh, again, big shout out to Crown. I want you guys to really focus on that and go ahead and get your car, vehicle, truck, SUV, whatever it may be, go down to Crown, get it rust controlled with the Crown undercoating. As, uh, as I showed you guys here yesterday, big shout out to Crown again. Another thing I wanted to make mention of is that uh, Diamond Coat actually changed their original comment on the video and luckily I screenshotted that for you guys so you guys can see the difference between what they said originally and what they say now. Uh, over the course of the last week, they've been kind of going back and forth with me uh, in the comments in regards to what a sacrificial anode is and how it works and how they're a warranty company first. And since then, they've actually edited their, their comment, which is kind of interesting to me. So I want you guys to take a look at that and let me know what you think about that in the comments. Leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification button and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next ones. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Signing out. Bam.